Welcome to Electron Line, and here's the next amazing property of water, the fact that water can dissolve oxygen. And it does so in an interesting way. Let's say that we have uh, air above the water. This is water, this is air. We have oxygen molecules bouncing all around. Of course, in the atmosphere, about 20%, close to 20% of the atmosphere is oxygen. And somehow, oxygen makes it across the air to water boundary, and then resides within the water in what we would call very microscopic small bubbles of oxygen that are then floating around the water then available for aquatic life. Of course, without oxygen in the water, we could not have aquatic life, so it, it makes that possible. And it's interesting how if the pressure increases, it's able to push more oxygen into the water. If pressure decreases, it's less. And this also depends on the temperature of the water. So the amount of oxygen typically that can reside in the water, of course, you don't always have full what we call, uh, uh, how, do I, how do I say that? Um, full saturation of the oxygen in the, uh, in the water. But at full saturation, at zero degrees centigrade, you would have about 14.5 milligrams of oxygen per liter of water. At 50 degrees centigrade, full saturation drops to about 5.6 milligrams. At 100 degrees centigrade, water is not able, you know, at that point it's boiling, of course, at STP, can, at uh, standard pressure conditions. At 100 degrees centigrade, uh, water cannot hold the air uh, the oxygen, the oxygen will come out at that point. Also notice that uh, water is able to hold more oxygen when it's fresh water versus when it's salt water. And it's not just because it's salt water. Anytime water has dissolved in it a whole bunch of minerals, it appears they leave less room and ability for water than to, to uh, hold on to oxygen. So if there's a lot of stuff dissolved in water, then there'll be less oxygen uh, possible. If it's fresh water, clean water, without any minerals, then you can see that it can hold a little bit more oxygen. So kind of an interesting concept there. But uh, typically you would say in normal conditions, 20, 25 degrees centigrade water, 10 degrees centigrade water, you end up finding about 10 milligrams of oxygen per liter. And that enables all kinds of aquatic life to exist in water. Again, a very special property. If it wasn't for that, you know, life in the oceans would not be possible. So it's a very interesting very unique kind of property for water.